It is with great pleasure that I join the university community in congratulating management, faculty, and staff who have all worked together to bring UNER to this world. For many years now, institutions like UNER are so valuable to Ghana's sustainable development. The mission of the university is in line with developing the human resource and skills needed to promote sustainable development. In addition to training professionals and building skills, the university is also engaged in cutting-edge research that is advancing our understanding of sustainability issues. From renewable energy to sustainable agriculture, the university's research is helping to develop solutions to some of the most pressing sustainability challenges facing Ghana. This university is working to engage with communities and stakeholders to promote sustainability practices and behaviors. This is something Ghana should undoubtedly be proud of. Ladies and gentlemen, the government of Ghana is also committed to promoting sustainability in Ghana through research, education, and outreach. Prof. Chair, the government has implemented a number of reforms in the past few years in order to achieve this goal. Permit me to share some of these initiatives with you. Ghana is taking an important step forward in its commitment to sustainable development through the promotion of STEM education. By introducing STEM programs, the country is well positioned to promote the sustainability of natural resources as well as provide access to quality education and training for all individuals regardless of their background or academic discipline. Government has recognized the potential impact of STEM education by building 10 cutting edge learning centers as well as restructuring many senior high schools across the nation with necessary instruments for teaching and learning. Several of these centers, senior high schools, including those in Abomosu in the eastern area, Mosomotu in the Ashanti area, and Awasu in the western north, among other locations, have already begun teaching and learning. Rough chair, ladies and gentlemen. The Ghana Skills and Technology Development Program, which aims to enhance technical and vocational education and training, TVET, in Ghana, has also been launched by the government. The goal of this project is to give young people the abilities and information they need to excel in their job and support the sustainable goods of our nation. In addition, the government has put into effect the National Science, Technology and Innovative Policy, which aims to encourage scientific and technological research and development. The goal of this policy is to promote creativity and the creation of cutting-edge technology that can be used to address sustainability-related issues. Both Chair Nananom, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Overall, these educational programs show how committed the government is to using research and teaching to advance sustainability in Ghana. The government may advance society by funding TVET, research and development, and STEM, and climate change education. Overall, these education initiatives demonstrate 
the government of Ghana's commitment to promoting sustainability through education and preparing the negative the next generation of leaders to tackle environmental challenges. I would like to conclude by saying that I am in awe of the leadership of UNE and their commitment to sustainability and providing quality education. It is clear that they are dedicated to helping Ghanaian students reach their highest potential by offering a variety of education resources and support. Through vigorous and various courses, experience, faculty and other resources, UNE is ensuring that students have all the tools necessary for success. Prof. Chair, ladies and gentlemen, the impact that this university has on its students' lives, lives should not be overlooked as it sets an example for others to follow when striving towards excellence in any field or profession. And I applaud them for taking initiative towards helping young people realize their full potential. Cheers to a decade of excellence and more decades to come. I know my big brother, my MP, and all we, the politicians, also have more roles to play. So even as our big brother, whom we are all in our own uh, model, MP, because if you check the MC for Sunyane West, uh, myself, whoever politician is here. So far as the audience around are considered, you are a role model. And therefore, on behalf of the politicians in the region, we also applaud you for all that you are doing.